Hello, hello, welcome to Heal and Ascend Tarot. So today we're doing a pick a card reading for how your person is currently thinking about you. So this is going to be as of the present moment, what your person's current thoughts are. So maybe you're with them, maybe you're not with them. Either way, we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So just take a moment to see what resonates. And if you wanted to book a personalized reading with me, my information is down below, and there's currently $10 off any love reading with the promo code LOVE, but all of that's going to be in the description box. Okay, so we're going to get into it. So we're going to start off with pile one to see how your person is currently feeling about you. Okay, I don't know why that crystal fell. All right, so let's see. So if you chose pile number one, how your person is feeling about you. We have Divine Feminine, Awakening, wow, nice. The Solar Plexus Chakra, the Six of Pentacles, Giving and Receiving. This could be the One, Five of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Swords. So how your person is currently feeling they're at a bit of a crossroads when it comes to you. I feel that the two of you are kind of on your own paths right now. I'm picking up the energy that you're probably in no communication with this person. You guys might not even be in each other's lives. Um, the reason why I say that is because I'm seeing here the Divine Feminine and the Awakening card. And I'm seeing a feminine energy and a masculine energy. Both really seeing things from a new perspective. Really awakening here. Um, but they do have their back turned away from each other. It's They're going on their own paths is what I'm seeing here. And especially with the solar plexus chakra, this is all about identity, finding who you are. Um, and so I feel that there's definitely a sense of independence between the two of you. This person, how they're feeling though, is they feel like you could be the one. Okay, so it's in their mind that you could be the person for them. And I feel here that they're wanting to give to the situation with the Six of Pentacles. But they might be fearing here that there will there will be some conflict or even rejection because we have the Five of Wands and the Four of Cups. So this person could be fearing that if they were to come towards you, it would lead to some sort of conflict. Or maybe you just wouldn't be interested in what they have to offer. So we do have this Two of Swords here, which is interesting. So they're at a bit of a crossroads. I am going to grab another... Um, deck though and just see why we have this crossroads what it specifically is it a crossroads about communicating is it a crossroads about another person i just want to see what is the indecision here okay so let me just grab another deck Why is the Two of Swords here for those who picked Pile 1? This could be a Twin Flame, especially with the Divine Feminine. It could be a Soulmate as well, just a Divine Soulmate. Let's see, why is the Two of Swords here, Spirit? Yeah, I'm seeing separation, the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords. So, like, that just confirms what I was just saying, how I feel you and this person are not communicating. You and this person sort of have your back towards... Uh, turned away from each other, but it's leading to your awakening. So it's actually a very beneficial separation is what I'm seeing because it's allowing both of you to go through this really nice awakening. But let's see why this Two of Swords is here. So we have confirmation on the separation and then we have the Hermit. Yeah, so interesting. This is a very solitude-like energy with the Hermit and the Four of Swords. So I feel like the person's, what they're indecisive about is whether or not they should come out of this separation, whether or not they should come out of this hermit mode and give again to the situation because they're not sure if you, they would, you would be receiving or if they would receive anything back from you. There's a fear that if they were to give, that you would be not interested, four of cups, or that it would lead to some sort of conflict here. But I do feel like this person does see you as potentially being the one. I feel like they're pretty certain about it. Okay, they're pretty certain that you could be the one here, especially if they have had some sort of recognition or awakening through a period of separation. But this, I'm definitely picking up, this is a spiritual connection. I don't feel like this is a karmic, 
I, I feel this is either a twin flame or a soulmate that you could be dealing with here if you pick this pile, okay? Seems very, it's a very soul based connection. And I just feel like you and this person are definitely going through some sort of separation. And right now they're at a crossroads as to whether or not they want to leave their, their, their place of solitude as well because they're kind of hiding out. So they might be hiding their feelings right now or maybe they're just not wanting to open up completely. So they're a bit indecisive as to whether or not they should do that. I'm not really, I'm not picking up that there's another person or anything like that. I'm just picking up that they're indecisive as to whether or not they should come out of this retreat mode. But your person definitely feels like you could be the one here. And they see you as the divine feminine. So they see you, uh, they put you on a pedestal here. Okay, when a Divine Feminine card comes out, it's very similar to the Empress coming through. So it's this energy of they see you they see you as embodying all queens. They see you as having everything that they would want in a person, in a partner. Okay, so that's what I have for Pile 1. All right, so I hope that this resonated. This is just a quick reading. So we're going to move on to Pile 2. You might have more than one pile that resonates with you, so you can check them out if you're drawn to another crystal. All right, so if you picked pile number two, how your person is currently feeling towards you. We have communication, deception, the three of swords, the nine of pentacles, retreat, the ten of swords, the five of cups, and the page of pentacles. Wow. Okay, so right off the bat, what I'm, what I'm sensing here is well, first of all, we have the two most painful cards in the tarot deck coming through. The Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords are the most painful cards here. So this person is heartbroken. They're, they're in a lot of pain. Um, they could feel like you have deceived them, or maybe they're feeling that... I mean, it could go either way. Maybe they have deceived you. There has been some sort of deception here, of course. And it's led both of you into this retreat mode, so you both have disconnected from each other. I feel like this person knows that maybe they did something wrong because I'm getting the five of cups. There's some sort of sadness here. There's also regret. Okay. So there could be deception on both ends. It could be more on their end. It could be on your end too. Okay. I'm not, I'm not feeling like it's, it's really clear at this point. It's probably because it's supposed to be resonating for a bunch of you. So it could be either way. Maybe you deceived them. Maybe they deceived you, but either way, they're either feeling some sort of sadness or regret about whatever this ending was with the Ten of Swords, which you guys know I'm going to probably clarify and just get some more information so we can get some more specifics for those of you who are um, stopping here and, and taking a look at this reading. So with the Nine of Pentacles, this person um, feels like they, they can't get to you right now. Uh, I am sensing here with this Nine of Pentacles because this is a very independent energy. This person could feel that you are really independent, like maybe you don't need them. Okay, because if you notice this person is stranded out here alone and there's not really, like no one can really get to this person. So this person sees you as someone that is very hard to get or just you might be so independent that you're the kind of person that doesn't necessarily need someone and that's how they're feeling towards you. Okay, they definitely want to communicate. Like this person is almost desperate to communicate with you is what I'm feeling here. They don't want to be in this no communication. They don't want to be retreating from you. Okay, that's why we also have the page of pentacles here because they're wanting to make an offer and maybe the offer is physical this person could even be wanting to apologize about something um, they could be wanting to offer you a gift um, a token of appreciation okay because again I just feel like of course they're heartbroken we have sadness and isolation and retreat so they're feeling very alone they're very heartbroken but they see you as someone that's just really hard to get or just unattainable right now so I'm not quite sure what it is that you're doing or I don't know if you walked away from this person, but they're seeing you as someone that's just very hard to, to get. And the fact that they don't have you right now is very, very, very painful, which again, guys, I'm going to clarify why this Ten of Swords is here. All right, so why is the Ten of Swords here, Spirit? Yeah, I just saw the, I just saw the Five of Cups again. Um, so a lot of sadness, a lot of regret. So maybe, maybe they did something and they're regretting it because it led to some sort of ending. So why is the Ten of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Let's grab one more. Oh, okay. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. They're definitely wanting to offer you something. 
They feel stuck though, but I'm getting here. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. These are all people who are coming through with an offer. And I was saying I feel like this person wants to come through and actually offer something to you physically. And then we get all of these cards of Pentacles, which is about physical, um, physical energy here. Okay, so this could be an actual thing that they want to offer you, something in the physical world. Like I said, it could be a gift. Some of you, it could be money. I'm not really picking up necessarily money, but some of you, it could be something of value. So maybe something they have to pay for um, to give to you, but they want to make a solid offer to you. And the only thing is they're kind of feeling stuck, okay, because the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. I feel like the reason why they're feeling stuck is because all of this sadness, this isolation, it might take them some time because the Ten of Swords is a lot of swords in your back. So it takes time to pull those out. So um, they're kind of in the process of doing that. And again, because they feel like you're so far away or that you're so unattainable, um, <clears throat> it might take them some time. But they definitely want to communicate with you. That's how they're feeling right now. So if you walked away, if they walked away, whatever it is, you're in some sort of separation again. I picked that up in pile one as well. But they definitely want to communicate with you. Okay, they're really heartbroken. All right, so that is what I have for pile number two. So let's move on to pile three. All right, so guys, if you chose pile number three, how your person is currently feeling towards you. We have offer. We have muse. The seven of cups, daydreams and decisions. The nine of swords, darkest fears. Heart to heart conversations. The Nine of Wands, the Fool, and the Six of Pentacles. Interesting, a lot of, I feel like I'm kind of picking up on the same person for all of these, or very similar energy for, for all of these piles, but it could be different. So if you picked pile three, well, first of all, they definitely want to offer you something, especially with the Six of Pentacles coming through. So what's the reason why I say I feel like I'm picking up on the same piles is because pile one also had Six of Pentacles. Pile two also had the Page of Pentacles, and I was saying that they want to offer you something. So if you watch this pile, you might want to watch all of them because they'll probably all resonate. <laughs> I might as well have done just a collective reading. Um, but we have the Six of Pentacles in the offer card here. So they definitely want to bring in something. They're going to offer you something, and they want to offer you something. So nearing the end of this, I will try to confirm or try, try to take a look at what it is that they want to offer you so we can get some clarity on that. Um, but they want to take a leap of faith here. I feel like maybe offering something to you would be a leap of faith or it would be a bit of a risk. Okay, right now they are a bit guarded with the Nine of Wands, but they are feeling inspired here to, to really come towards you. Okay, to really make that offer. They're feeling inspired to do it. But I also feel like this, this would take a lot out of them with the Nine of Wands or this would, this would be them having to really let down their guard or even their ego to do this. Okay, I feel like the Seven of Cups here, this person daydreams about you a lot. They feel like they can't get you out of their, their head because both of these cards are actually someone who is thinking a lot. Someone who's very much in their headspace with the darkest fears and the daydreams and decisions. So they do have some sort of anxiety about offering you something. They're very anxious about this. Uh, they might have decisions that they have to make in terms of maybe how to come towards you or when to come towards you. But they daydream about you a lot. Okay, This person could even have dreams about you. They could be having physical dreams about you. But they want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. They want to honestly discuss their feelings. So if in the past they weren't being completely open with you, especially because this person is quite guarded, if you notice, he's guarding himself. So in the past you could have been dealing with someone who was a bit defensive. If you even notice this guy here, um, he's not really wanting to open up. See how this woman is trying to talk and he's just not having it? I feel like this is how this person was in the past. Maybe not completely open. Maybe you tried to discuss your feelings and the they were just like, nope, I don't want to talk about it. I'm guarded. I'm closed off. Now they're wanting to open up. Now they're wanting to actually give to the situation because they're realizing that you were giving to the situation. Okay, um, And now they're feeling inspired here to make a change. So let's see why this offer is here. And I think I'm going to also take a look at the Nine of Swords on our page. the seven of cups again so yeah there could be decisions that they have to make or it could just be that they're really confused right now and yeah look at the Sonata ones a lot of the same cards are showing themselves so why is the offer here Spirit? if you chose pile three for those of you who chose, chose pile three why is offer here oh yeah 
They want to pursue you. The Knight of Cups. They want to pursue you. So it's an emotional offer. Okay, let's see why their Nine of Swords is here. Why is the Nine of Swords here? <clears throat> oh, wow. Yeah, I feel like I'm picking up on it. If you want, if, okay, so if you resonate with this pile, also check out Pile 2 and po probably Pile 1 as well. But um, they're very anxious. We have the Darkest Fears and the Ten of Swords, so they're very scared of getting hurt. They're very scared of getting hurt. So while they want to offer you something emotionally, they want to pursue you. They want to come towards you. They want to take a risk here with the fool and really give to the situation and open up to you. But there's a part of them that's also very guarded and also very wounded. The Nine of Wands could be a wounded warrior. So this could be someone who's been very wounded when it comes to love. So their fear is that they're going to get hurt for the last time with the Ten of Swords. There's this feeling of, if I get hurt by this person, I don't know if I can get up again. And so there's this extreme fear that they have about pursuing you or coming towards you because of their past, because of the fact that they really do care about you. And they feel like if you were to hurt them, that it would be just too painful. Okay, yeah, so they're going back and forth about this. They're very overwhelmed. They're going back and forth about giving to the situation. Okay, so this is how they're currently feeling. Um, I do feel like eventually they will get over their fear here and come towards you. Let's see why the fool is here. I feel like they will. Yeah, they will. Look at this, guys. The Knight of Wands on the fool. So they will take the risk. They're going to come towards you probably pretty quickly and passionately with the Knight of Wands. But it's going to just know that this person, it's taking a lot out of them. So if you care about this person and they come towards you, be gentle with them because I feel like this it took a lot of it took a lot out of them to really overcome their fear to do this. And maybe for you it's not that big of a deal, but for them it, it's very scary to be in a position where they're vulnerable with you and where you could hurt them. So they feel that um, it's it's really a risk, okay? But they're gonna take the risk because they feel like you're worth it here. All right, so. That's what I have for pile three, so nice, guys. Um, so I hope that this was helpful. As always, if you want to book a personalized reading, head over to healandascentorote.com, and I'm wishing you guys all of the best. Take care.